Do you feel like your CPU isn't giving you the performance you paid for? Today I'm going to show you how to unlock the full power of your processor using a tool called Park Control the right way. I'll walk you through every step to properly configure it, squeeze out more FPS, reduce stutter, and boost overall responsiveness, especially in games. I'll even throw in two extra tweaks at the end that most people overlook but can seriously help if you're dealing with performance depths. Step 1. Downloading and Installing Park Control To start optimizing your CPU's power and core responsiveness, we'll use a lightweight but powerful utility called Park Control, developed by the creators of Process Lasso. This tool allows you to control core parking and frequency scaling behavior in real time, helping ensure your CPU delivers maximum performance during demanding tasks like gaming or video editing. Open your browser and go to the official Bitsum website, or use the direct link provided in the video description to avoid navigating the home page manually. Find the Park Control Download section. Click the Download Park Control button. Your browser will begin downloading a small, executable file. It's typically under 5 megabytes. Launch the installer. Once downloaded, double-click the file to run the setup. If prompted by User Account Control (UAC), click Yes to allow changes. Install the program. Follow the on-screen installation wizard, accept the terms and conditions, and choose a destination folder if needed. Step 2. Configuring Park Control for Maximum Performance Now that you've successfully installed and launched Park Control, it's time to set it up for optimal performance, especially when gaming or running CPU-intensive applications. These settings will ensure your processor runs at full power without unnecessary throttling, idling, or aggressive power-saving measures. For desktop systems or laptops that are plugged in, once you're inside the Park Control interface, Locate the Power Plan section. At the top, you'll see a drop-down showing your current active Windows Power Plan, example Balanced, High Performance, or Ultimate Performance. If available, switch it to Bitsum Highest Performance for the best results. If you don't see that option, you can stay with Ultimate Performance if it's listed or continue with High Performance. Configure Core Parking and Frequency Scaling. Under the Plugged In column, CPU Parking, set to Off. This disables the system's tendency to park or idle unused cores, which can cause latency or slow wake-up times during gaming. Core Parking Index, set to 100%. This forces all cores to stay active at all times, maximizing multi-thread responsiveness. Frequency Scaling, set to Off. This prevents the system from dynamically lowering CPU speeds under load. Frequency Scaling Index set to 100%. This ensures the CPU runs at its maximum clock speed consistently. Confirm the changes by clicking the Apply or Make Active button at the bottom of the window. This ensures the selected plan and configuration are enforced immediately. If you're using a laptop on battery, consider your priorities. If battery life is more important, you can leave the on battery settings as they are to allow the system to conserve energy. But if you're okay with sacrificing some battery duration in exchange for raw performance, repeat these same steps under the on battery section. CPU parking and frequency scaling to off, both core parking index and frequency scaling index to 100%. This config will keep your CPU fully awake and running at peak clocks even when unplugged. Step 3. Enable Hidden Power Plan – Ultimate Performance By default, Windows hides the Ultimate Performance Plan, but we're going to unlock it. Here's how. Hit Start, type CMD, right-click Command Prompt, and select Run as Administrator. Paste this command. Hit Enter. That's it. You've now unlocked the ultimate performance plan. If it doesn't show up immediately, restart your PC. Now go back into Park Control. Click the drop-down under Active Power Plan. Select Ultimate Performance. Hit Make Active, then Apply. 
You'll know it's working if all CPU cores are green, meaning none are parked. To test it, try switching to Power Saver, hit Apply, and see some of the CPU cores gray out, which means they're inactive. Flip back to Ultimate Performance and apply again, all green. Step 4. Enable Dynamic Boost and Power Plan Notifications While still inside the Park Control interface, it's time to take advantage of two smart features that can make performance tuning both automatic and transparent. These options are particularly helpful if you move between different workloads, like theming, editing, or browsing, and want your system to intelligently switch power plans without needing manual input each time. Look toward the bottom of the Park Control window. Find the checkbox labeled Enable Bitsum Dynamic Boost. Check this box to activate it. This gives you the best of both worlds, maximum performance when needed, and energy savings during idle or light use periods. Unique Tweak 1. Disable Game Bar and Game Mode for maximum performance. Both Game Bar and Game Mode are designed to optimize the gaming experience by integrating Xbox-like features into Windows. However, they often introduce background processes, interfere with system-level performance tuning, and conflict with third-party overlays or recording software. If you're focused on achieving the most responsive gameplay possible, it's best to disable both. Step-by-step -step instructions. 1. Open Windows Settings. Press Windows plus I on your keyboard to open the Settings panel, or right-click the Start menu and choose Settings from the list. In the Settings window, click on the Gaming category on the left sidebar. This section contains all Xbox-related integrations, including Game Bar, Captures, and Game Mode. Inside the Gaming menu, select Xbox Game Bar from the sidebar. Toggle this setting to Off. This prevents Game Bar from launching in the background or consuming system resources unnecessarily. It also stops it from triggering accidentally while gaming. Still in the Gaming section, click on Game Mode in the sidebar. You'll see a switch labeled Game Mode. Toggle it off. Disabling Game Mode ensures Windows doesn't automatically reallocate resources, interfere with background processes, or override manual tweaks you've made to power plans or CPU affinity. Unique Tweak 2. Set processor scheduling for best performance of programs. This one's simple but effective. Open the Start menu, type View Advanced System Settings, click it. Under the Performance section, click Settings. Go to the Advanced tab. Under Processor Scheduling, make sure it's set to Programs, not Background Services. Click Apply, then OK. This setting prioritizes foreground apps, like your game, so Windows doesn't unnecessarily juggle resources for background tasks while you're gaming. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss future guides like this one. Comment your CPU down below. I'll try to give personalized tips if I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.